Hey, Mike with Rogue Pest Control here. In today's video, I want to answer the question of how long do mosquitoes live and is it actually worth treating for mosquitoes towards the end of the summer and early fall? So one thing that a lot of people don't necessarily know is that mosquitoes have a relatively short lifespan in that, you know, the male mosquito, once it reaches adulthood, has a lifespan of about a week, maybe a little bit longer. And then the female has a lifespan up to about a month, give or take as well. So again, it's kind of a high turnover rate. They don't last very long and their lifespan is very short. But at the same time, they do breed very quickly and in large numbers. So again, it takes about a week from a mosquito egg uh, to hatch once it's been laid. And then from there, it takes about three to four weeks to become an adult mosquito. Now what happens is female mosquitoes, they can lay uh, up to hundreds of eggs at a time. So again, one or two mosquitoes could start off again, very small in population, but it could turn into hundreds, if not thousands in a relatively quick amount of time. So one thing to really understand is though, is where mosquitoes lay their eggs, how you can prevent that um, from happening around your home. So mosquitoes, they lay their eggs in stagnant standing water. So what happens is a lot of times that comes from natural sources like ponds um, or again like puddles, different things like that. But what can happen is a lot of times it can be man-made issues as well or I guess things that you can prevent um, around your home. So a lot of times people will leave pet dishes outside. You know, if it's on a farm place, maybe there's like troughs of water out. Um, again, you could have tires laying out and water collects in there. You might have puddles, areas that are kind of lower so the water collects and gathers there. Um, again, it could be even as small as a centimeter deep water. So that could be very tiny. That could be a bottle cap, right? You know, the top of a, a soda pop or whatever, um, full of water that basically mosquitoes can lay their eggs in. So again, it doesn't need to be a huge amount of standing water, but as long as it's stagnant, mosquitoes can lay their eggs there. So it's something to really keep in mind and watch out for. So keeping your gutters cleaned out, uh, making sure you don't leave pet dishes outside for long periods of time, or you're at least turning over the water continually, uh, making sure your pool is properly treated, uh, different things like that. So pay attention when you see if there's a big rainstorm or multiple days in a row where it's raining, watch out for standing water because again, those are great targets for mosquitoes to lay their eggs in. And then, like I said, if it's kind of a week long rain deal, or again, it's hanging out for a while, uh, those eggs can hatch in as a little as a week. And then again, they're gonna start turning into adults very quickly. So be sure that you pay attention to the standing water that's around and take care of that if you have the ability to. On top of that though, um, comes back into, should you be treating towards the end of the summer? Now, ideally you wanna be treating for mosquitoes in you know, spring, early summer, because it's before they've really been able to grow and multiply and increase their numbers to a large amount. You know, if you're treating later in the summer, it's not gonna have as much effect because they've already built their population up to such a large size. But at the same time, you still get value from treating later in the year because it can affect numbers next season. So you might not be able to experience all the great benefits if you would have treated in the spring, early summer, but at the same time, you're setting up yourself great for next season because what can happen is mosquitoes, they can actually lay eggs in that standing water and those eggs can even survive uh, in frozen water. So they could even survive over the winter. So if these mosquitoes are constantly building up their numbers, you know, even though some of them are dying off as fall approaches and late fall approaches, Again, these mosquitoes, they can lay their eggs in that water. It becomes frozen as winter approaches and those eggs can survive. And then as soon as temperatures start to get warm enough, those eggs will start to hatch. So again, treating later in the year is obviously better than nothing because it can reduce those numbers that are currently out and about, but then also the less numbers there are right now towards the end of the summer, early fall, the less chance that they're gonna be able to lay eggs and those eggs will carry on 
throughout the winter. So again, whenever you treat, it's obviously better than not treating whatsoever, but you can still get a lot of benefit for next season by treating this time of year if you have mosquito issues. So again, hopefully you guys got some benefit and value out of this video. If you did, feel free to comment and share. And then if you do happen to have any pest issues or looking for a mosquito treatment for your home, head on over to rovepestcontrol.com. And then if you do happen to be a first time customer with us, you can go to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and any your information there to get $50 off your first service with us. So again, head on over to rovepestcontrol.com and then rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off to get that great discount. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll talk to you more soon.